Hi, welcome to my Halternative video. Uh, as many of you know, I have recently been reducing a lot of the possessions that I own to a smaller size with the KonMari method. And today, my friend and I are actually having a yard sale with a lot of the stuff that we are getting rid of. So, I thought it would be fun as an alternative to the traditional haul video, which is sometimes super fun, but sometimes is a little bit on the edge of just promoting the mass consumption of a ton of stuff that you don't need. Instead, I will show you some of the stuff that I'm getting rid of. So just to keep things at a manageable size, I've decided to show you some of the things I'm getting rid of from my kitchen specifically. The first thing is this food processor. It kind of pooped out on me and it's probably fixable, but I am not the person who wants to find out how to fix it. This is the bag full of stuff. First, there's just a couple plastic kind of Tupperware canisters. I used to store baking goods in these because my husband bought them for me because he has no idea what quantities things like flour and sugar come in. They were never the right size, so I would have to store like flour in here, but also extra flour in the bag, which is just ridiculous. And they're really too big for anything we would want to use Tupperware for. This is one of those fold-up silicone strainers. We have a metal strainer that we use. We don't ever use this. It was a gift, I think. This little spatula came with a smaller, another small spatula that's a different shape that I use all the time. I use it so much that I actually have several of them. And I just don't use this shape because it kind of has these nooks and crannies where stuff will get sort of stuck to it, so it's just not as useful. And they came in a two-pack, so I'm just like, whatever. Maybe somebody else wants it. This is a silicone brush, which has worked very well, but I actually got a nicer one that has silicone bristles and a stainless steel body as a gift from my mom recently. Pink Himalayan salt. It was among a mix of a bunch of different gourmet things that we got for Christmas, I think, for my parents, and we've kept a lot of them that are things that we do use and love, like smoked salts and stuff. This just isn't one of them and it takes up a lot of space. These I got, it was another thing, I got these in a set and I ended up keeping the one color that I like the most, that Sparks Store and that I use all the time, and I'm getting rid of the others. The colorful tea towels are something that I like to use a lot in food photographs, like for the blog. This is the same situation, I think it came with a blue one and an orange one, I just don't like orange in general. And then there's a couple aprons. I had a very large apron collection and I kept all my favorites and now I'm going to actually display them in my kitchen hanging up because I'm just keeping the really pretty ones. So that'll be great. And that's the end of the bag. Onto the box. These are silicone pot holders. I bought them because the one that we use all the time is blue and these are black, which I liked a lot better. However, I did not realize that they are actually a bit stiffer than the one that we're used to using, so we ended up just still using it all the time and not getting rid of it. So that was a bust. Somebody else will hopefully like them. These champagne glasses were from a DIY that I did where I actually spray painted the metallic on, and I'm keeping all of the tall ones that I did with the silver because I think they turned out better and these ones just didn't turn out as nice. This is really fun and cute. It's a large whisk, and I have a really small handheld whisk that I use all the time. And obviously, it's just a cute display item, but it's not the colors that I like to display in my kitchen. So hopefully somebody else will love that. This was a free Stella Artois glass that we won at a pub trivia night. So we were super excited about it that night, I'm sure, because we won. But not really the most useful thing to have. This was the vase that came with some flowers when I had flowers delivered to me. And I have other large mason jars. I have a white enamel sort of, what am I trying to say? Not matte. What's the opposite of translucent? Opaque. I have a white opaque one that I love to use as a vase that I got at Fischetti's in New York. 
so the blue just doesn't, isn't so much me. Uh, so get rid of that. This was a white elephant gift at a Christmas Eve party. It's a little Starbucks reusable plastic to go glass. We just don't use it. I have one similar to this that is a big tall mason jar that holds more and I use that. So I never use this. This is a dish Ryan used to use for warming some olive oil or something like that in the oven. And now we just have actual one actual small dishes that are really oven safe and don't get this gross brown thing on them and are made for that. So don't need this anymore. Here are a couple cookie cutters. I do have a lot of cookie cutters and I did save all of the ones that spark joy because they're all in one place. They don't take a lot of space throughout the year. There's different things that you want to make out of different shapes that you want to cut out and it's just, it's a fun collection. It's one of those things that really does make me happy. And I think it's important to remember with KonMari that it's not about getting rid of a ton of stuff or there being a certain amount of things that you're supposed to have or not having collections or not having more than, you know, five cookie cutters or whatever. It's about having the right amount for you. There's some great quote that's something along the lines of minimalism is not about having a small amount of things, it's about having exactly the right amount. I think that's really important. So for this, I mean this isn't, some people wouldn't see this as a huge success that I got rid of three cookie cutters and kept probably ten. I don't have like an insanely large collection, but I have more than huge normal people have. But these were the three that did not spark joy anymore, and those were the ones that did. So I think it is exactly the right ones to get rid of. Saying I'm not going to get rid of any because I like my cookie cutters is ludicrous, and saying I need to get rid of a ton of them even though they make me happy is also silly. This is a weird IKEA can opener. We needed a new can opener. They had two different designs at IKEA, and we weren't sure how this one worked. And since they were both like literally $2, we were like, well, let's just get both of them because if we like this one, it doesn't take up very much space, so that would be awesome. We ended up figuring out how it worked, and it worked fine, I mean, I like it, but it's not as heavy duty for some of the larger cans, so we decided to keep the other one instead. This is a waiter's corkscrew. It is the best kind of corkscrew. I really don't like all the silly fancy ones. I'm a fan of the classic. And when I was kind of borrowing our kitchen, I discovered that we had two of them which I think was helpful at the time when we weren't quite sure what drawer it was in. <laughs> but now that everything is better organized, you really only need one. This is a plastic scrubby that I replaced with a natural looking wood bamboo one because I like everything that is visible in my kitchen to be pretty. And again, orange is my least favorite color. This came with a sort of salad set where there's like a a spoon and the fork thingy and they're both black plastic and you like use them to serve salad. We never used them that way. We do use the spoon all the time because it's the perfect size and shape and we love it. So no reason to hold on to the fork. Here's a bunch of really big tablespoons which we never use. Just a couple of these cute decorative sort of Silverware. I bought these in a set that's a big mismatch, and these were just some of my less favorite designs, and I really didn't need all of them. It was just too many. The drawer was so full that it wasn't easy to find what you were looking for. And I don't really know what people do with spoons this size, for the love of me. This is a chip clip. We had other chip clips that worked better. That was just some spare runt from another collection that got left behind. This is a cute little egg cup that's shaped like a bunny. It's adorable. I have another egg cup that I will use sometimes that is on display that is cute and it just um it was cute at the time. I guess somebody else will probably love it more than I do now. When you have too many of those kind of things they just you know slip through the cracks. This is a zester that doesn't work very well. It is really cute. It has this painted wooden handle, but I don't like things that don't work very well. This is a cold brew coffee system that I somehow got talked into buying. 
on one of those days where I was at one of my favorite cafes and I really liked their cold brew coffee and they were having some kind of deal and I don't know, it's like you're in a conversation with this person who you have a somewhat social relationship with because you see them every day and um, it just seemed like a good idea at the time. Never used it. And finally all we have left are some pans. This is a Madeline pan. I made Madeline's one time. It was pretty cool. but. Definitely not something that I'm going to do all the time. Here are some sort of tart dishes or something. Neither of them fits super well, so they sometimes leak. And also, it's not like an everyday thing. I just find that I don't, I don't use those that often. This is a heart-shaped pan. I've used it like maybe once. And this is a cake pan without a mate. At some point, we ended up with an odd number of cake pans, which is a ludicrous thing to do because you always make two and you stack them. That's just how it works. It happened because we had this old air conditioner, this like window unit in our old apartment, and it leaked because it was crappy. And so Ryan used a cake pan to be there to catch the dripping water and then empty it every now and then. And it just completely rusted. So we threw it out, and then we never got around to throwing out the other one. And that's all my kitchen stuff. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are also trying to reduce your possessions with KonMari or some other method, I would love to know your thoughts on it. Have you tried to sell any of your stuff? Do you tend to go the more donate route? Do you like to sell things online or have yard sales to consignment? What kind of stuff works for you? And also, do you have any tricks for figuring out what stuff sparks joy and what doesn't? For me, one of the big things I discovered, a way that I like to think about it is, is this something I would buy now if I didn't own it? If something happened to this thing, would I replace it? Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. It just takes a second and it really helps me a lot get more exposure on YouTube, show up earlier in search results, that kind of thing. And if you would like to see more from me, it would be amazing if you would subscribe. You can also check out my blog, which is in the notes down below if you want to see more from me. And thank you so, so much. Bye-bye.